I'm Sarah Davenport Smith with Human Life of Washington, and today I have the honor and privilege of presenting Representative Luann Van Werben from the 42nd Legislative yes. District up in the Bellingham, Ferndale area with our special award for this year. So this is a certificate of honor for pro-life heroism above and beyond the call of duty to Representative Luann Van Werben for her superior legislative performance during the 2019 Washington State Legislative Session for protecting human life from conception until natural death. So, thank you. Well, thank you very much. It is such an honor to receive this recognition for uh, my efforts for human life. It, it is not easy down here in Olympia, and uh, while I introduced several bills related to uh, the sanctity of life, None of them even received a hearing, and some of the some of those bills were the most reasonable that you could imagine, but they wouldn't even get a hearing. But I just want you to know that this session, I have seen more activism than ever before on some of the big issues that have been before the legislature, whether it's the vaccine bills or sex education, um, so many bills uh, that you were engaged in. And I'm telling you, it has made a difference, and it has stopped some of these bad bills in their steps. And so thank you for being involved, and please continue to make your voice heard here at the Capitol. Again, thank you, Sarah, so much for this award. I appreciate it. Yes, you're welcome. Mm -hmm. And, you know, is there is there anything else that maybe you see um, coming up on the horizon that maybe um, our constituents can keep their eyes on. Um, you know, there's a lot of things like like comprehensive sex education mm -hmm. bill, um, and they it didn't get passed. Right. However, it's not dead. dead. So yes. can we give up the fight? Can we just sit back on our heels and not do anything? We cannot give up the fight. And in particular, uh, while the sex education bill is likely dead, the other bill that is still out there is the forced vaccination on our children. Now that uh, is coming back to the House, um, but we are just praying with all our heart, soul, and mind that for whatever reason this, that Speaker Chop would choose not to bring that to the House for a vote. And it can die right there um, off the wings, and we are hoping that it will do it. So there are some really difficult days coming up this week as we uh, finalize the budgets. Um, as you know, the Republicans do not have a seat at the table for negotiations, so um, we're at the mercy of the Democrats and the decisions that they make. So please call and email and let us know that you do not want to see taxes um, increased uh, to meet our obligations and priorities. We can do it without tax increases. Right. So we keep up the good fight. Keep up the keep fight. Up the fight. Thank you. Very good. Thank, Thank you. you.